This is the simplest and possibly the best bread recipe I've ever made. There's nothing in it other than water, salt, yeast and flour. So it's really easy. But you do need a little bit of patience because you have to leave the dough overnight. So it's not exactly instant gratification bread, but it's worth the wait. So to start out, put two and two thirds cups of warm water in a bowl and then add two teaspoons of salt and about half a teaspoon of yeast. You can go a little bit more yeast if you want, that's fine. But because the dough is going to be sitting around overnight, it's got plenty of time to rise and become delicious doughy goodness. So water, salt and yeast all in a bowl and then mix that around a little bit until it's dissolved. Once that's all dissolved, we need to add five to six cups of plain flour. Now, we're aiming for a fairly sloppy dough here, so depending on how tightly you pack your cups and how moist your flour is already, you know, you've kind of got to play with it, but you don't want any less than five cups of flour and you don't want any more than six. More flour gives a firm dough which in turn will result in a very dense loaf whereas less flour makes for a sloppier dough and thus fluffier bread. So really the, the moister the dough the better. If the dough is sticking annoyingly to your hands while you're mixing it that's a really good sign. It doesn't really need kneading at all what we're doing here is more just mixing it for the least amount of time necessary to create an even dough. So once that's all mixed nicely, you want to cover the bowl with a damp tea towel. And then that goes somewhere warm. Uh, on top of or even inside a rack of computer equipment is ideal, but if you don't have one of those, a warm room will work fine. The tea towel will dry out eventually, so you do want to keep that damp, say using a spray bottle of water, or you can just take the tea towel off and run it under a tap again. You can see that over time the dough all sort of starts to puff up as the yeast gets to work. Then after about 18 to 24 hours we're going to roll the dough around in some more flour. 
Rice flour is actually excellent for this because it gives a nice golden loaf at the end, but whatever flour you've got handy is fine. You want to take the dough out of the bowl, roll it around in the flour. Bonus points if you can kind of fold it around a bit and end up with a nice sort of round ball shape, but see how you go. It's something you've got to play with. And you can see here this is quite sloppy. This is a this is a good sign. That means it's going to be nice and fluffy at the end after baking it. Bit more flour on top. And then just sort of try to fold all that in. A little bit of flour sprinkled into the bottom of the bowl. Boil it up a bit. In we go. And then that gets put under the damp tea towel again for another hour or so. Now, baking. Take a cast iron pot with a lid, put it in the oven, and preheat the oven to 250 degrees C. If your oven won't go that high, that's okay, just put it on maximum. And then once the oven and the pot are nice and hot, take the pot out of the oven, and kind of wrangle the dough into it. It will have risen up again a little bit while it's been sitting around for another hour. Depending on how moist the dough is, you might have to scrape it out as I'm doing here. If it's slightly stiffer, it'll come out in a nice ball. It's a little bit easier to manage. Lid goes back on the pot. And then the pot goes into the oven. Typically, this needs to bake for 35 to 45 minutes. Again, depending on how moist the dough was. I usually put a timer on for, say, 35 minutes. And then... Once the timer goes off, I take the bread out and stab it with a knife to see if it's done. If the knife comes out clean, you're good. If there's a little bit of sticky stuff on the knife, then you want to return the bread to the oven for another 5 to 10 minutes. But this is something that you get a feel for after you've done this a few times. Once it's done, Tip it out of the pot, put it on a rack to cool for a little while, and now we can open it up and see what's inside. Nice fluffy bread. Just like what you get from a bakery, but made in the privacy and comfort of your own home. Good, fluffy, delicious bread.